in the name of God, the Beneficent, the Merciful. This context about stuff Uru's exotoxin detection using a potentiometric nanobiosensor for microbial electrode. My name is Dr. Hamed Ahari, Assistant Professor of Islamic Hazard University Science and the Research Branch of Iran. This is a table of the content, abstract introduction, method material, and result, discussion, and the video clip, conclusion, and at least acknowledgement. Considering the ever increasing population and the trend in the industrialization, it's difficult to detect the toxin produced in a food product using a traditional technique. In this study, potentiometric nanobiosensor technique using a selective pattern for stuffed urus exotoxin was truly considered. A molecular farm work with polymer was produced using a metaacrylic acid MAA monomer, which form covalent bond between metaacrylic acid monomer to produce a wet polymer in addition hydrogen bond form between the amino acid of the exotoxin and the metaacrylic acid fun, uh, functional group with a function as a selective site for the polymer to evaluate the effect of pH on the staff urous exotoxin nanobiosensor diluted solution of NaOH and the HNOC were applied for upper and the lower pH level respectively the effect of temperature was adjusted by incubating the exotoxin solution in an incubator the results show that the molecular formwork polymer in design biosensor was able to detect an exotoxin density up to the detectable limit all minimum detectable level 10 minus 3 molar at the 68 nanometer of synthesis molecularly imprinted polymer MIP during the first 32 day of the experiment from a total 56 day. The potential difference remain constant as an optimum pH range of 5 to 8.5 and the optional temperature range of 50 centigrade to 25 centigrade. This is a kind of the potentiometric nanobiosensor. We have a two electrode AGCL and reference electrode. That's a literature review, and uh, this article focus on diagnosis of an exotoxin emitted by Staphylococcus, one of the most frequent cause of food poisoning. Use potentiometric and spectroscopic method and customized nanoparticle. Method and material. A solution bacteria appropriated for testing the sensor was prepared from pure toxin solution. The stuck pure solution was diluted with diet uh, distilled water to produce a concentration of a one to ten minus five molar per milliliter per liter. Oh, so sorry, under standard temperature considering twenty five centigrade. Solution were prepared each day at a different dilution level considering to tend order of magnitude. Compared with the blank method, the uh, sedimentation polymerization method use a higher volume of a solvent create a nucleus recognition opportunity which led to the production of particle at a nano scale. When the reaction one completed, uh, covalent bond B bane form between the metaacrylic acid monomer, which results in a mass of the polymer. Hydrogen bond form between the amino acid group and the exotoxin and the metaacrylic functional group, which can uh, constitution selective absorption factor. Construction of a membrane with a molecular imprinted modifier, both graphic and the gold were applied to build the body of the microelectrode. However, because the price of gold, a graphic microelectrode was used in this study. A graphite microwire was confined a glass capillary tube. Shit. 
the tube was cut very uh, vertically to reveal a small cross section. A thin layer member was then was then attacked the surface. Preparation of a thin polymer membranes for the cross section of the electrode. First of all, five milligram of a PVC put, uh, five uh, fifteen milligram of a uh, inofor and a specific amount of a uh, calient type of pride cut TPC from the Iberian uh, pride belt IBP were mixed with five uh, 75 milligram party plasticizer to produce a thin polymer member on the surface of the electrode the tip of the electrode cross section was dip into the dense oil solution the thin membranes layer that form on the tip of the electrode was left at room temperature in the laboratory for 24 hours to dry it was then placed in a 10 minus 3 molar of a stuff urus exotoxin solution for 48 hours so that exotoxin could connect to the uh, previously designed section. At last, we uh, study about the effect of the pH and the temperature. Uh, you see figure 2 the effect of temperature on the potential difference of the stafferous exotoxin that's a linearity of the micro-curve between uh, fifth, uh, 15 to 25 uh, that's a normal range for all of the food in this pH sensitivity analyzes they produce a uh, reliability and the lifetime of the sensor and the mm, last test is a particle size analyzer and a scanning electronic microscope you see sensitivity of the molecular imprinted sensor as shown in table 1 between the 10 minus 2 and the 10 minus 3 dilution a difference of a 59 millivolt was evident however therefore the difference in potential voltage was not 59 millivolt which indicated that the sensor was unable to uh, distinct between one dilution and a more diluted solution. Thus, 10 minus 3 was the minimum dilution, uh, dilution in which the nanobiosensor could detect the exotoxin in distilled water. Figure 1 showed that the potential difference remained constant at the pH of 5 to 8. The sharp char the sharp change in the potential at the higher pH value may at attributed to the distribu dis uh, the uh, dissolution of the silica base material in the sensor with the lower pH value hash three O ion start to cause interference to the charge transport process of the sensor. Figure 1, the effect of a pH and the potential difference of the stuff urus exotoxin, linearity of the disc curve between 4 to 8. 4 to 8. That's a scanning electronic microscope result about a molecular imprinted, that's a uh, so homogenized particle, and about a NIP, uh, and this is a Particle size analyzes average of the particle size between 15 to 100 nanometer and at less about a lifetime of the nanobiosensor that's uh, reliable to um, 38 days. That is uh, 38 days, it's a uh, safe durability of the sensor. Uh, this table about uh, uh, nearest and uh, 59 millivolt uh, potential about uh, all of the dilution 10 minus 1 to 10 minus 6 uh, molar there is an, an appropriate lack of research in the field of the bacterial toxin detection using a nanobiosensor therefore it was not possible to find any uh, relevant record uh, practically for toxin detection primary foodborne toxin detection method need to extract the toxin 
which can be extremely time consuming. However, the use of a sensitive biosensor can save diagnostic time. In many cases, bacterial exotoxin disappear due to composition, which the other microorganisms exotoxin are also affected by different environmental consider such as the temperature and the acidity. Thus, biosensor that the ability to detect the exotoxin can greatly assign research and the specialists in a food quality control and the hazard analysis critical control test. Conclusion: It can therefore be concluded that production of a nanobiosensor based on molecular imprinted binding to the antigen uh, anesthetist technique knowledge and the expert uh, targeting for antigen binding. This study showed that a nanobiosensor decreased the time for toxin detection analysis and heighten the sensitivity for toxin detection. However, a limitation of this method involved the ability to produce the apurate molecular imprinted that does not limit the sensitivity of the detection system. Here, the diagnostic factor with regard to the sensitivity of the sensor is the antigen concentration rather than the exotoxin concentration. That's an acknowledgement and thank you so much. That's my all of the reference.